Right guys, how's it going? Hope you've had a good Christmas. It's Boxing Day or International Hangover Day. Pretty much, isn't it, for most people? Drinking all day. But we're about to go clay pigeon shooting. Just about to pick up Greg. And <laughs> this is our fourth year in a row now doing this. I won the first two. The jammer get next to me's won last year by one point. So now we've actually got like a trophy. 35 shots, when it takes all basically. So yeah, it should be pretty fun. Let's go shoot some clay pigeons and try not to shoot ourselves. <laughs> also, just to let you guys know, it's seven degrees, so my trigger finger's not working that well, and I'm starving and slightly hungover. Not hungover, I just feel like shit. I drank like Prosecco, then I drank champagne, and then I drank cider, and then I drank rum and coke, and then I drank some weird shots that were on fire, so, yeah, I'm not in the best shooting shape whatsoever. But, I'm still gonna win. Fingers crossed. That's not even crossed. Like, I can't even cross my fingers. Fucking retarded. But yeah, should be good. Let's do it. Yeah. George. Yeah. George, it's my great pleasure to hand you the winner's trophy. Not. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. Yeah>. Winning <laughs> <big>. <laughs> Buy one. <laughs> right there, because it makes it warm. Tell you what, for a five, you can't beat this. Victory now. <laughs> Spoon's food isn't that bad to be What's honest. It's like being in the life of a blogger, Jim. Mm -hmm. A baller. <laughs> I just feel like we've got a food baby going on. Just jiggling. What's up, guys? Right, we are back home from the clay vision shooting, back home from Weatherspoons. Had a full English breakfast, which was lush. My victory meal. And this is the trophy I won. <laughs> Basically, we do this every Boxing Day. This is our fourth Boxing Day now so that we've done it. I've won the first two, lost the last one, and then I've won this one. So, yeah. Smug face is on. Wait, I'll try not to be smug for the whole day there. Winning face. Right, I'm going to have a shower, get changed, and open up all the presents downstairs. Because we still haven't opened them all. We haven't been here. But obviously you've seen my last video, which I'm about to upload now. We haven't been here for Christmas Day. So it's like Christmas Day today. <laughs> right, I'll see you guys in a minute when I'm changed and clean. And yeah, see you in a bit. Hello. Come on, boy. Yeah, I got him. Good boy. Change of plan. Family's on a night out. Well, night out. Walking the dog around the reservoir. I found an Aston Martin Rapid. Nice. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Absolutely bloody freezing. Note to self, bring a woolly hat. Lindsay's struggling to look after Hendrix, it's quite funny.
again. cardio for my liking. My knees are and everything. I ain't done any squats. It's like, I don't know how far that was. That was a long way. But yeah, I'm back home now. Still haven't opened the presents yet. So I'm going to get changed. I'm going to get showered. I'm going to get clean. Then all the family's going to come around. So I'm going to get some food. And open up some presents. Yeah, so I'll see you bros in a bit. That's the good bit. The good bits are coming. The good bits are coming. Guys, what is up? I am back. I'm out of the shower. I'm all clean, but my hair, look, though, it's a bit mad. I couldn't be asked to redo it again because, well, I'm not going out again, so I thought it's no point putting product back in it. And I'm just going to be downstairs with the fam. So, I thought I'd just keep it on natural. But it was so chaos undoing all the presents under the tree. Like, you know how it is when you've got, like, I've got three nieces, right? And they are mad. There's just shit everywhere. The parents are stressing out. Everyone was stressing out. It's like, Rah! So what I thought I'd do is to save you guys from that stress is I undone all my presents. I got rid of all the packaging. There's a shitload of packaging that I got. And then I, I just threw it away. And then I just displayed it on my desk right now so I can show you guys <laughs> without all the crap everywhere so it's all chilled out we're mellow environment now we're mellowing we're chilling all right <laughs> so to start with my main present which is what i absolutely love from a from my parents love you guys is i got a diesel watch belt all right i love this thing let me show it quickly you got that reflecting my mat right we got that yeah yeah it's beautiful, absolutely. I love watches. Like I have, I, just, I so yeah, I have a massive watch collection. I only have like four watches, but slowly building up my collection of watches. Cause watches and shoes are my thing. Like that is my cravings in life. I need watches and shoes. And basically, what I got after that from people because I'm 22. What else do you buy? Someone who's my age. I don't have kids. I'm single. Aftershave, right? It's the only logical thing you can buy. So I literally got out enough aftershaves to last me till next Christmas. So I've, I never buy aftershave anymore, guys. Like, I literally don't. That's all I get is aftershave. Unless they're trying to say that I stink. Which I hope they're not. But all I'm going to say is now, I'm going to smell sexy for like at least a solid two years. And my best one of all was from my sister, which was this bad boy, which is Giorgio Armani's Emperor. Emperor? M that one, I don't know what the fuck Anyway, I need a massive bottle of this. Uh, e M P O R I O. How the fuck? Do Why am I so retarded? It's probably got. I could probably say the name if I wasn't thick, but I am thick. So, but I need a massive bottle of whatever the shit this is because it's amazing. Like it smells so good. Like my my previous favorite was Million by Parker Rabanne, like the gold brick. In fact, I got some more of it. This stuff, but share that. But yeah, this is insane, guys. If you can get it, get this. But yeah, the rest of it's just normal aftershaves and stuff. But it's been an awesome Christmas. Even though I opened my presents like a day later, like late in the day later, but it's been an awesome Christmas break. I really hope you guys have had a really good Christmas as well. So yeah. Thank you for like watching my videos. Like, it's a bit weird. Like, I haven't got the most amazing life. I'm just trying to show you. Because basically, for my channel, I know I'm like mumbling right now, like shut the fuck up. But I want to show you. Like, I have a dream in my head of what I want to achieve. And you look at Chris and Guzman and Rob Lipset and so on and so forth. You're like, but they're like they start their channels, like finished channels, but they're already massive, like ripped before they even started it. And a lot of like new people into the gym look at that and go, oh, I'll be like that. And they expect it to happen like, like, wait, 
do this for 12 weeks and it happens. I know I watch these people because I know they don't chat shit. Like they don't say that, oh, if you just do this one thing in a year, you look like me. It's like, no, nah, they've been lifting for like 10 plus years, <laughs> you know? So what I want to do is go from somebody who wants to be like that and show my journey to get like that, like what it takes, like, oh, well, I really like, my goal at the moment is to get six pack abs and look really good. So I know I need to build on size, so I need to bulk. So I'm trying to show you my process from the start of being skinny to being like semi-built, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, not, obviously I'm not gonna look like jacked, but I'm gonna look like a lift, but I'm not gonna be like bodybuilder shredded where you can see striations in my chest and like be like 6% body fat when I'm pretty much dead. Like, I don't wanna be like that. I just wanna be beach body confident. So I wanna be around nine, 10-ish, maybe 8% body fat. But for like three months of the year, <laughs> for like three months, yeah, for like, for like three months of the year, but, cause I know that I can, I can achieve that. I know that I can achieve being pretty much shredded, technically shredded, compared to 99.9% .9 of the population on the beach for three months of the year and then after that I want to build more size so I've got a bulk. <laughs> I can't stay 6%, 8% year round and build muscle unless I'm taking some serious good hardcore fucking drugs <laughs> and I won't be able to survive, my body won't be able to survive of working a 9 to 5 which 90% of us are and trying to lift six days a week and do other activities as well and still be on a very calorie is it surplus? The calorie deficit? That's the technical word for it. Like, less calories than I actually need to survive because I'll fucking crash out. I'll have to be on cocaine 24-7 just to keep fucking moving. Don't take cocaine, kids. It's bad for you. That's just an example of what I'd need to take just to run my life and still be of that diet. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is... Fitness isn't my job, right? I just love it. So I'm just trying to show you the process of I want to be ripped. I want to look really good. And the steps it takes to take, steps it you need to take to get there. And I'm trying to figure that out and share my experience with you guys whilst in my general life, really. So I think I mumbled on quite a bit there. <laughs> so I hope you guys didn't get bored. But yeah, I'm just trying to explain what I'm trying to achieve with my channel and what I want to show you guys. So I love the support. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I'll see you next one. Please like, subscribe, and see ya. Bye. I need to figure out a cool way to end this video, but I'm going to do this.